Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 8th through to the 14th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. First up, we have the Three of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Emperor in the upright. Next, we have the four, uh, Nine of Swords reversed. Followed then by the Knight of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Eight of Swords reversed. So your overall energy is the Three of Cups, Capricorn, in the upright position. It is time to celebrate something. There could be something coming up for some of you, perhaps this week, an important uh, celebration. Could be anything from celebrating perhaps somebody's uh, marriage. This could be like a, a small wedding. It could uh, indicate a bon voyage party. It can indicate uh, attending a, um, a baby shower or a uh, engagement party or anything like that, or even a small get together with a small group of friends. Sometimes the Three of Cups can come up for that. It's a simple, um, but yet really, um, you know, uh, fun event. It's, it's something that is pleasant. It's three of cups. So it's something that makes you feel happy and, uh, really good on the emotional front. Keep in mind, sometimes the three of cups can indicate a level of gossip around. So maybe something's going on with that. Maybe there, you're going to be hearing some juicy gossip <laughs> at a get together. It could be, like I said, a work situation too. It could be a bon voyage party for somebody who's leaving or maybe you're leaving. Um, whatever's going on here, it looks like it's really pleasant. And those emotions tend to last. So whenever this event is or whatever happens here, it seems like it, it's it makes you feel warm and fuzzy throughout the whole week so it has a lasting impact right at the beginning of the week we have the mars ruled energy um the emperor it's mars ruled associated with the sign of aries and um scorpio interesting because of the aries uh new moon the solar eclipse is um would be on that day because this is for the eighth um, yes, as a matter of fact, join us for the podcast. Okay. I usually say this at the end of the video, but I'm going to say it now because I mentioned it. Uh, we will be having a live, uh, podcast on the 7th Sunday at 6 PM. Marie Moore, the astrologer will be joining us and we will be talking about all of this, um, solar eclipse um, hype and everything that's going on. So we're going to be discussing that. And so it should be an interesting show. We're going to have lots of fun. So come and join us and uh, be part of the live chat or just be in the audience and watch it all go down. <laughs> it should be a really interesting and good time. So getting back to the emperor in the upright, this Mars ruled energy, there is something powerful in the air <laughs> on the eighth. There is something going down. It could be sometimes the emperor can represent power and authority. That's why I'm saying something powerful is going on. You could be dealing with a powerhouse of a person. Sometimes the emperor who is known as the sort of like the patriarch of the family. Uh, this could be representing your own father, grandfather, or father figure in your life. This person could be um, stepping in for some reason. Um, this could also represent perhaps a boss or some other powerful person that could be wielding a lot of control. Sometimes we can step into the energy of the emperor and maybe it's you Capricorn um, feeling like you need to keep control over something on this at this time. So this is all about power and control. If there's a person in uh, who's in a position of power and you should need their assistance or their help in any way, especially if it's a government official or something like that, you need to deal with a serious matter. Definitely do not hesitate to uh, go to the top. <laughs> go right to the top of the food chain <laughs> and deal with the power the powerhouse that is the emperor so hopefully you're not dealing with a super controlling person but you could be dealing with extreme uh, powerful situation that's going on here and maybe you need to keep or you feel you need to keep control let us know in the comment section below, okay? Please, please, Capricorn, you guys are great at the comments. I love it. Keep it up. 
Next card you have is the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. Well, this is about coming out of a period of anxiety, high anxiety, maybe sleepless nights. Sometimes the Nine of Swords in the upright represents we're trying to solve nine different problems. All, of course, when we're trying to fall asleep, that's when we, you know, the mind starts going and we can't sleep because we're trying to resolve this. Sometimes this can be coming up, trying to come up with nine different solutions for one problem. Whatever the case may be, it looks like that's coming to an end because the Nine of Swords is in reverse now, indicating you're releasing that energy. And it comes right after the Emperor. So it could be that this person, maybe going to the top person, was the right answer because now this person maybe steps in, helps you to resolve a situation, and now you can finally get a good night's sleep. Makes a lot of sense, right? Okay, moving on towards the weekend. We have some really nice energy here. The Knight of Cups in the upright position. This is the Knight in Shining Armor. This um, is beautiful energy. The Knight of Cups, this is the Romantic Dreamer. So this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There could be somebody coming in with an invitation for you. Sometimes the Knight of Cups can represent a proposal. It can be a romantic proposal, yes. It can also represent um, uh, being on offered something such as your dream job or a dream scenario, a dream home. It's, it's something that would make you really, really happy on the emotional front. So something could be coming forward. Oftentimes this does represent like being offered your dream job. It's like, are you kidding? Of course I want to take this opportunity or dream opportunity. So something beautiful is being offered to you uh, towards the weekend. It could be a beautiful invitation to do something super fun and super exciting. Um, last card you have is the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. So... It's funny, you have the Nine of Swords reverse coming out of anxiety and the Eight of Swords is coming out of a feeling of being trapped. See, the Eight of Swords in the upright position points to that, um, again, ruminating thoughts, other people chiming in, making us feel even more um, sort of restricted. It's a card that represents in the upright, it represents restriction, right? We can't do anything we can't move forward because we're restricted this is kind of like you know i can't i am trapped in this situation could be trapped in a job trapped in a relationship trapped in anything but when the card is inverted this is where we finally find the escape hatch we're able to get out of a restrictive situation now for some of you this could definitely be the offer the dream offer that comes forward maybe say for example you didn't really care for your job you felt like you were stuck in that job and you couldn't get free but this offer comes and are you, you're like are you kidding me of course i want to take that and when you do it frees you from the restrictions that you felt in the other job or it just frees you in general just you know, frees you up. So beautiful, beautiful energy. This is a pretty good uh, reading, actually, Capricorn. Nice to see it for you guys. I really love this uh, three of cups being the central energy. That indicates you have something definitely to um, celebrate. And this is not bad either. And seeing the eight of swords and nine of swords reversed for you is even better. So I hope it resonates for each and every one of you. Looks like a fabulous week. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.